these things are made by um, indigenous people living in the southern part of the United States. They're made today as souvenirs. They're called munyas or, or rain gods. Um, very simply, they're handmade, simple piece of clay, formed into shape by the hand and then fired. But of course these are very basic items, the ones that you get today are very much painted and they don't just look cute. The painting, the decoration of them makes them look really nice things to buy. So these, these ones would have been made as marketing whenever you bought a crate of candy or chocolate. You would have had one of these inside them, a bit of publicity. Um, as these are a great example of over commercialization it's, it's modern day marketing in a way and in a sense this is a product for the West and then for themselves they create what is meaningful for them if you look at a collection and you think about where are the names of the people who made these and what do we know about them we know very little because they didn't actually I don't think they were that interested they sort of collected these items as souvenirs or as gifts and it was a bit of fun I don't think they actually cared about the true significance of these items. And I think by speaking to the potters who make these, it would be interesting to get their opinion about why they make them and where they think they come from, because then you're talking about something else, something deeper and it has a lot more meaningful of that, because we, we associate this with marketing and as a bit of fun. And yet years ago, prior to Christianity coming to America, these may in an earlier form means something something at a deeper level and something that people depended upon. Um, the idea of something being called rain god, um, there's an association there with, with possibly the belief that originally they may have been made as a means of being able to bring water to a land that's really dry. So you're making a connection with the world of the gods in a physical hostile world really where there's hardly any rain, desert like conditions, difficult to do agriculture or to find edible foods that we rely on water so much so the fact that these are called rain gods I think originally at some point in time they may have been used but they would they have looked like this? I don't think so.